Swamiji, uh, how could you convince then these Christian people that Krishna, Christ was the Son of God, or Krishna was the Son of God? I say himself that I am Son of God. That's a... Many Christians, they do not... Many Christians are. <laughs> there are so many Christian yeah. editions. That is another thing. We have accepted. <laughs> but all these Christians, they are all my students, they are coming from Christian. How they accept Krishna as the Father? Prabhupada, did Christ return to the spiritual planets then when he left earth to be with Krishna? He is coming from spiritual planet. He is authorized representative of Krishna. We accept him as Sattavesa Vada. So I was invited in some priestly meeting in Melbourne. They asked me the question, what is your opinion of Christ? So I said, he's our guru. <laughs> <coughs> Actually, we accept him. He is preaching God's message. is Vaishnava. Anyone who accepts God, he, he was explaining kingdom of God, God. So according to time, circumstances, audience, now we can just imagine what kind of people he had to deal with, that his commandment is, thou shalt not kill, then understand how much they are accustomed to killing. So what kind of men they were. And not only that, in spite of hearing his instruction, thou shalt not kill, they killed him first. <laughs> So what kind of man they were, just in mm. He said, thou shalt not kill, and they decided, they shall kill you first. <laughs> so this class of man he had to deal with. What would happen to the people that killed Christ on the cross? Very bad. Should well, Christ cannot be killed, but they killed themselves. So they read that Christ said that I and my Father are one. Yes. So they say, therefore Christ is, is Krishna, so therefore Krishna can't be God. One means in quality. Yeah. And in the Vedic literature we say, Aham Brahmasana. That means we are one in quality. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna. So now we are material Bhuta, Jiva Bhuta. When he realized that I am not this body, I am spirit soul, I am part and parcel of God, that is Brahma Guru. Then Bhakti begins, Brahma Bhuta Prasanna, Tana Sodhati Nakan, Samas Sarvis, Madh Bhakti Ravati. Then he enters into Bhakti. After Brahma realizes, So Lord Buddha finish? No, uh, finish it. <clears throat> the animal sacrifice, as stated in the Vedas, is different from the unrestricted animal killing in the slaughterhouse, because the asuras, or the so-called scholars of Vedic literatures, put forward the evidence of animal killing in the Vedas. Lord Buddha superficially denied the authority of the Vedas. This rejection of the Vedas by Lord Buddha was adopted in yes, order. Yes, he said that in the Vedas there is animal. And he's not wasting his time. He says, I don't care for your Buddha. It is my honor that you stop if you love me. He cannot open slaughter house giving reference to the Vedas. Or any sacrifice, I know. Jews, everyone. The Mahavadans, they also Bukra. make sacrifices. One day in the year, one day in the year, 
the sacrifice. It's not that they recommend open sacrifice, slaughter. This is all nonsense, rakas. That sacrifice also recommends them in this sense that you cannot stop animal killing. There will be a class of men who will eat meat to give them some concession. So this is the command. All right, if you want to eat meat, you sacrifice. Among the Hindus, just like Kali Puja, Dugga Puja, the animal eaters, they are given this concession that if you want to eat meat, you just worship Goddess Kali. And that's Goddess Kali worshiping is recommended on the Amavasya, on the dark moon night, one day in a day, uh, in a month, at the dead of night. So if one goes on eating meat in this way, one day in a month, and dead of night, then you automatically will give it. So much botheration, better give it. <laughs>